The Flash registered 24 shots and 14 shots on goal tonight, both franchise records. However, they were unable to convert, falling one to nothing to FC Kansas City. We didn't come out the same team like we usually are, um, high pressure with high energy. It took us a while to get into the game and, um, you know, second half was much better. We came out and we pressed on them and um, we just weren't able to put those chances, some sitters that we had and, you know, 26 chances on the board and we just didn't put those away. I'm really disappointed that we lost, but we can't ask more from any of the girls, you know, everybody left everything out there, run their socks off. I mean, we had 26 shots on goal and from what I just gathered, it's the record that we've ever had, you know for how many shots on goal and I just can't believe we've come away from this game without at least, at least a tie, at the least. Mm -hmm. We did enough to win the game and I was pleased with the performance and got to give them credit. I mean, Barney was terrific, the two centre-backs were terrific and, and then midfield, you know, uh, Groom, Groom worked their socks off in that mm -hmm. midfield and LeBron to the two of them and got to give them credit and, you know, I think their coach probably thought they might have got away with one tonight. Mm -hmm. we, I've got away with some in my career too, <laughs> so we all, we all get them and, mm -hmm. you know, we'll get back to work. And I think we played, I think we played well, honestly, I know it's cliche to say that, but I genuinely think we had a good second half performance, deserved to get the win. After Shea Groom scored in the 60th minute, her fourth in three games, the Flash rallied back with a frenzy of scoring chances, but they were unable to beat Nicole Barnhart. Now I said to, uh, to the assistants this morning, I said, Bonnie had one of those nights, and I've seen Bonnie have many of those nights. She played for me at one point. Then, you know, it's going to be tough to win the game, and she had one of those nights. I mean, 14 saves, that might be a league record, I don't know, but she was all over the place. Yeah, of course, Barney's a top keeper, but, um, you know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You know, that's how the beautiful game of soccer, sometimes it can be really mean to you, you know, you're in front of the goal. We had... Seriously, I mean, three easy tap-ins and they just didn't go in. Um, you know, but when was the last time you saw 26 shots on board in the top league in the world? I mean, that's phenomenal. You know, we're putting up the numbers. We're just not getting in the back of the net. But I was pleased the second half because the reaction from the players was excellent. And, you know, I'm not sure the quality play was excellent, but we, we certainly served the box a lot. We got numbers in the box and like I said, we created some fantastic chances. And I think this team's got magnificent character and I think we'll bounce back from this loss. Obviously, it's very disappointing that we got the loss, but we'll bounce back next week in Houston. The Flash will look to get back into the win column next week as they head down south to take on Houston, which will be their last game before the Olympic break. In Rochester, AJ Feldman, WNYFlash.com.